Hey folks, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well. I've been having a great day. It's Monday today and uh, beginning of the week. Um, for those of you who are working, I guess, I don't know, some people really enjoy their jobs. I quite like my job and I look forward sometimes to the Monday. Um, I didn't really do that much this weekend. I didn't, I was intended to do some reactions, um, but I, I had to do a lot of gardening and stuff, trying to get it done before it rains again, which is like really naff um so yeah that's one of the reasons why i didn't do any reactions so it, in a way i kind of feel like i've achieved something but at the same time i kind of think oh man it's monday again and you know i do love doing reactions and and just to kind of not be able to do them um and then have to do like kind of i suppose home chores over the weekend um sometimes i wish i didn't have a garden and so it's one of the last thing to do um, but that said, it's it it is what it is, and I'm looking forward to doing some reactions tonight. Um, this is one I've I'm actually I've actually heard it before. Um, not heard it for a while, but it was back in um, April 1983, and and yeah, I I'm I'm familiar with this group. This group is the Thompson Twins. Um, I am familiar with his track, but it it's one of those. I mean, I generally I kind of quickly sort of forget how some music goes and I think there are some tracks which were felt big during during the day but um back in the day but nowadays um they tend to kind of like it's other tracks that get paid played more um from certain bands and uh, you tend to kind of lose the other track in I mean I, I guess the more the more music there is about the less certain tracks will get played and they become you know kind of rarities on the radio um so yeah i haven't heard this one for a while i do know how it goes um but uh, i don't think i've ever seen this performed either or a video it was um like I said, in 1983 i was just i think i was um probably about 16 at the time so i was kind of um a little bit rebellious a little bit you know hanging around with friends more than you know, being dutiful and indoors and doing homework and um, practicing for exams and stuff like that. Um, I I was generally out so a bit, you know, a bit of a bit of a wild one, really, um, to some degree. Um, so yeah, this track is called "We Are Detectives." It's taken from their 1983 album "Quick Step and Sidekick," and it entered the UK top forty on the 16th of April, 1983. And wow, yeah, okay, it reached number seven, which was really, really cool. I think this was a follow-up to their track "Love on Your Side," which was out in the February of that year. Um, and that was a fantastic track. So um, they had a lot to. I mean, they had a, a couple of tracks before that which didn't quite um, hit the mark. That weren't commercially successful, but um, definitely "Love on Your Side" was the first biggie of of it of theirs and this follow-up was i think this might have been even bigger um but yeah interesting band and when i kind of think back to this band i they always kind of stood out as being different and this was a wonderful thing about anyone who does remember music from 81 82 and 83 there were groups that just did their own thing they didn't kind of follow any formula um and obviously there wasn't any other production, so you didn't have a production team making them a sound generically the same as everything else. And they had a distinct sound, a distinct way of playing their instruments. And and yeah, Thompson Twins were one of those bands. Uh, I mean, also in 1983, you had China Crisis, you had Depeche Mode, you had, still had Spandau Ballet, um, who were entering their sort of, probably, I suppose, their most successful period. Um with Truth, I think that was probably out right now. Um, you had Duran Duran again. They were sort of maturing into a very popular, um, commercially good sounding band, but they still had very distinctive qualities about them. Um, and you had loads of other bands as well. So it it was very, very cool time for music. Everyone had their own distinctive sound. Um, so Thompson Twins were... Alana Curry on percussion, the xylophone and vocals. Um, 
xylophone. I do remember her being on the xylophone. That was really, really cool. It had Joe Leeway on synths, congas and vocals. And you had Tom Bailey on vocals and synths. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. This is a top of the pops performance. And um, yeah, let's just click play and see what we can see with this one. He's dressed as a policeman. Um, I think there's a very tenuous link between a detective and um, it looks more like a traffic warden, actually, um, without a bit of yellow, a little bit of yellow and a bit of traffic warden. But yeah, it, it doesn't, that look doesn't really suit him, um, Tom Bailey. They just wear what they like. This is what I like about the group's back then. They just wore what they like. Hey. You know, I completely forgot about um, Alana, Alana Curry. Um, well, she's kind of talking through this, but I completely forgot about that because it's, and it, it's really cool because I, I, I seem to remember back in the day, I kind of visualised this sort of um, black and white film, maybe. Um, private detectives, you know, smoking in a doorway and all that kind of stuff. It's those kind of black and white films you maybe used to watch. Um on a, on, a, on a rainy Saturday afternoon and it really kind of gives me that vibes uh, I do love the um, is that an accordion? it looks like an accordion I I love things like that and they've got such a cool sound and there's so, many, so much going on with like the, the sound of this band that always is and it's always really really interesting because they don't seem to be doing a whole lot but you can tell there's a lot put into this song His footprints by the garden tree Last night when I got home I got the feeling I was not alone Someone is on our tail We think they're opening up our morning mail She's on the records And now it's time the telephone rings We think of frightening things I love the instrument that um, that Joe Leeway is playing. Um, it takes me back to when I was at school. I mean, we had the maracas, but we had one of those as well. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's it's really cool. I love little instruments that make little sounds that uh, just add to you know the, the sound of a, of a song, and they can be used really really sparingly, and it gives it that extra level of interest. And there's like a little ding in this as well, which I, I love. It's just so much going on. It's the accordion, and I mean, I think that's an accordion, but I never, I never picked up on that um, when I when I heard this eight years ago, um, and I always thought it was just like all kind of keyboards and stuff. But it's really, really nice to see bands use different little instruments, especially when they're kind of performing and that. Um, I mean, maybe 
I don't know how they this would have been live, but um, this is it's quite a fun little performance, and I do love their interactions as well. Uh, Jolie Wave, Alana Curry there doing a, like a tango or something. Um, yeah, it's very interesting that bands back then had a lot of fun, I think, and uh, you know, it, it didn't really take themselves too seriously, but inevitably, they you know, the, the music has endured. And I believe that you know, um, Thompson Twins music is um, it, it, it's amazing, really. It's, you know, um, I mean, people say, yeah, it's got a native sound, but uh, it doesn't really matter because if you can still listen to it, it doesn't sound really, really enough, then it's it's still pretty cool after um, 40 years. The third, Thompson Twins, We Are Detectives. I always marvelled, actually, at Alana Curry's light hair, the way she managed to get it to stay in a particular shape. But, you know, she's kind of thrown it around a bit. And uh, I always admired that. It's just, you know, the hair back then was a different, it was a different kettle of fish. I mean, it was, um, it, it was, um, you know, giving it large, really, back then. The hair was big. And, um, and so was the uh, character and the attitude of performance. Uh, I love this. I haven't. I've never seen them actually perform this. Um, I, I thought it was a little weird to look at first, um, but um, uh, it was um, it was pretty cool in the end and quite fun. So it's it's really nice to hear, and it does give me a, a more appreciation of um, perhaps what instrumentation went into this song. Um, and I think um, I guess unlike maybe Depeche Mode, where sounds are sampled, it. You know, are they really kind of playing all these instruments, or are they just is this just for show? Um, or you know, is everything done on the keyboard? And but having said that, it doesn't really matter. This is a, a mimed performance on top of the pops, which is fine. I'm more for that. Um, uh, I can only think of one live performance from around about this time, and that was Blue, uh, Blue Monday's New Order, and um, that didn't go down too great actually, to be fair, when they performed that. So uh, I mean, it went down great when when I saw that, but um, I believe they weren't that happy with their own performance. So I hope you enjoyed this um, reaction. And um, for me, it's like a little bit of trip down memory lane, and it actually brought back some nostalgic memories of um, listening to this track back in the day. Um, some really great tracks in the um, springtime of 1983. Um, yeah, very nostalgic for me. So, folks, if you have any thoughts, if you have any memories of that time, please join me in the comments below. And, um, yeah, I will sort of have a good old read of those memories because um, I love sort of living vicariously through other people's um, memories and because it just kind of reaffirms that the early 80s was such a great time to be a young, I guess. Um, even if you was at work, you know, maybe... Um, but yeah, just generally young and uh, life was a lot simpler back then. So till next time, take care of yourselves and have a fabulous week.